Let's continue exploring the universe within art and the art behind Redstone. I'm your host, Am Ledu, and in this video, we're going to take another look at the Auto Crafter. More specifically, the three item crafter. This can infinitely craft any item that has a recipe that requires three different items. And those items can be in any quantity, not just three singular items, but three different items in the recipe. We'll also take another look at the two item crafter that can craft anything made up of two different items. Now, whether you love it or hate it, the crafter is just not very user friendly. In my opinion, it couldn't have been designed any worse. But luckily, we can make it a little simpler with these universal two and three item crafters. These will cover most craftable items in the game. And if you want to skip ahead to the three item crafter, just check the timestamps. But we're going to start off with the two item crafter. Again, this can craft any item whose recipe requires two different items. Not two total items, but two different items. The build area is three by six, and we're gonna start off with a crafter here in the front. And remember that the crafter's mouth can point into a chest and it will deposit items into that chest, just like a dropper. We're gonna start off by placing a hopper pointed into the side of the crafter, then a chest, hopper, and chest on top of that, and do this on both sides. So hopper pointed into the crafter, chest, hopper, chest. And these chests can actually be any container that you want them to be. But then we're gonna place three solid blocks, then two comparators, one on each side, then turn around and place a repeater pointed into the middle one. Now we're gonna place five solid blocks like so, turn around and place an observer facing away in the center of those five blocks. Then place a redstone torch on each side of the observer and a powered rail that the observer is looking at. This has to be a powered rail. Now place solid blocks above the comparators and next to these topmost hoppers. Now place three redstone dust on either side and you will be totally done. All that's left is to load in the items into the crafter that correspond with the recipe that you want it to craft. So place at least one item in every slot that corresponds with the pattern of the item that you want it to craft. And be sure to lock any unused slots in the crafter. Then inside of these topmost chests is where we put the ingredients for the item that we want to be crafted. Now one limitation, because of how badly the crafter was designed, is that the crafter will have to be completely full, and these bottom hoppers will have to have about 23 items in them before it actually starts crafting. Since there isn't a way to differentiate how many items are actually inside of the crafter, we have to pull a signal off of the bottom hoppers. So once there's enough items in the bottom hoppers to reach a signal strength of two, it will then turn off the torch and lock the topmost hopper, preventing any more items from going inside. This is to limit how much the crafter can craft, because if it crafts too much, you would have to reset the pattern by hand. So the way this works is that when both sides are completely full, meaning that the crafter is totally full of all of the items that it needs, and then these hoppers start backing up, once they reach 23 items, both torches will end up turning off. And when that happens, the observer will activate, which will trigger the crafter to craft. Then as long as there is a backstock of items, it will just keep crafting forever and ever. It's also very important to only load the items inside of the topmost chests. Never load the items into the middle chests, or it can break the redstone and break the system. Only load the items in from the top. Now for the three item crafter. Again, this can craft any item that requires three different items in the recipe. Not three singular items, but three different items regardless of quantities. The build area is going to be three by seven and a little bit taller than the previous design. We're gonna start off with the crafter one block above the ground. And remember that like a dropper, a crafter can spit items inside of a container through its mouth. But then we're gonna place a hopper pointed into each side and the top of the crafter chest on top of those, hoppers pointed down into those chests, and then finally another container or chest here at the top. And again, these chests can all be different containers, that is all up to you. Then here on the back, we're gonna place five solid blocks in the positions that you see here. Then a repeater facing the front in that hole, a piece of dust behind that repeater and on top of that block. Now turn around and we need to place comparators on top of these blocks so that they are looking at those bottom most hoppers. Now place solid blocks coming out of those comparators, then going back by two, like so. So one block behind the comparator, then two blocks extending back. Then a block next to that dust, and an observer in this hole facing toward the back. 
We want this observer to be looking at a redstone lamp, then torches on either side of the lamp, and dust on top. There is currently a bug that will cause observers to activate upon world load if they are looking at active dust, is why we have to use a lamp and rails. But now we need solid blocks next to the topmost hoppers, then above the comparators, then four dust on each side. Now all that's left is the middle row, so come over here to the center, and we're going to place a solid block above that dust, above that repeater, and above that dust. Then turn around, and on top of these two blocks, we're going to place comparators facing toward the back, going into a solid block. Then place more solid blocks on top of these comparators, and next to this topmost hopper. And then one more extending out the back, right there, one block above the observer. Now place three dust right there with a repeater facing toward the front on that fourth block and then a redstone torch here at the end and we are now totally done. Then go back to the crafter and load in at least one of the ingredients into every slot for the recipe that you want it to craft and be sure to lock any unused slots. And you can always fill this up if you want to to save some time and make it craft a little bit faster. But now we can just place the three ingredients in each of these topmost chests. Only one item in each of the three chests, of course. But now as the items pass through these hoppers, it will work the same way as the two item crafter. So once the hoppers that are pointed into the crafter start backing up and reach a signal strength of two, it will turn off all of these torches. Then once all three torches turn off, it will activate the observer and cause it to craft. So really, this all works the same as the two item crafter, there's just a third row. So as the quartz builds up in that hopper, eventually it will turn off this third torch. Then once all three torches are turned off, then as that lamp loses power, the observer will notice it and cause the crafter to craft. Once the crafter crafts, it will free up some space for the hoppers to push more items into the crafter, thus resetting the whole process. And again, only load the items from the top chest, not the middle ones. And of course, you could always connect this to any sort of storage system by having item filters loading the topmost chests. And the same can be said with all of the different builds for the crafter. You can always just add item filters at the top. But how the crafter was designed and implemented was just so bad. I mean, even just to craft rockets from a mob farm automatically, you end up with this monstrous nonsense. I mean, just to craft rockets from paper and gunpowder, something you can make thousands of in two seconds by hand. But recently, it's been brought to my attention that people who use the mobile interface can't actually quick craft items. I mean, that that's crazy. You know, being forced to, to craft individual items at a time, I can definitely see why the auto crafter would be of a much greater interest. But that's all we got for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the auto crafter. I would love to hear your opinion. If you have any questions or requests, I will do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember that you are totally awesome, but above all, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.